Hello and welcome. We're going to try a new uh, infinite zombie setup that I saw recently and I want to see how well it does for my particular city. Um, you can see stats, so we will make sure that we keep those in mind because I think it works pretty well for high stat cities. I, I'm not sure how great this exact setup would be for lower, you know, laser damage, um, but there's a couple modifications you can make and I'll kind of try to point them out where I made them um, when I did this on my farm accounts to practice. So uh, we'll go ahead and jump right in. And uh, I always like to get resources, the resource percentage, reward quality boost, and resource percentage. Personally, I feel like that 3% just does a lot more for me than the one explosive robot. Um, so the setup has a lot of different EMP towers and where we're setting them up is currently in this middle slot. I used to put one here and then on the corners, but I found that this middle slot covers a little bit of this uh, lane that they're coming out of, but as well it'll block a little bit of this lane. And so now you have one less tower that you need, so you can add a little bit more damage. And I've been putting level 3 lasers here. If you are not using the initial resource, do level 1 lasers, it's fine. You're just going to eventually need those higher level anyways. Uh, and in general, I try to make sure that I'm not using any more resources than I absolutely need to during a wave. So uh, the reason why I haven't placed all of my towers yet is just because I want to make sure that I'm saving up and just taking it wave by wave rather than spending it all right off the bat. Uh, I'm going to go with reward amount because getting four chances at good rewards after the first wave is not bad. The next tower, EMP tower, goes in this bottom location. And again, we're going to do level 3 turret, level 3 turret, and a level 3 rocket right here. And I kind of like this location for a rocket because it gives you all of your damaging towers in the middle. Um, that's weird. We should have a reward quality boost. Uh, we're going to restart this because that does not look like what I clicked on. There's that. There's that. Reward quality boost. And there. I'm sure when I watch this video back, I'm going to see that I clicked on, like, the Energizer, and that's not going to be what I needed. All right. We will quickly blaze through this one. Okay, uh, percentage is the best one of these ones, just because we have a lot of waves to go. And blue percentage isn't bad, I'd prefer purple, but hey, early waves tends to get more blues, so it's fine to get them out of the way now, especially because we're getting it on wave two. Uh, and then we're going to go back to a standard tower setup here. Um, uh, I'm going to take the two, oof, I'm actually going to restart this. Be very picky in the first three waves. My professional tip to you. Uh, as you can see, I'm second on the leaderboard currently. I tend to get, on average, 40,000 points every week. Um, and I do that by being picky. Like, the number one thing that I do is make sure that I am very, very specific on my first three waves. It's also part of why I don't put on a ton of work in those first two waves, is because, well, if I have to restart and I've done all my setup, it's just not gonna, you know, be good. Oh, hey, guess what? We're being picky again. 
didn't get anything good that time around. So again, resources, percentage, level three tower, level three tower, level three tower, and go. Level three setups. There we go. That's a good start. And I'm going to get 12% resources because it's wave one. Um, so getting up to 27% right off the first wave. Yes, it doesn't do much this wave, but hey, every little bit at this point. You know, it's an extra one or two resources throughout the course of all of your waves. Like, that's per kill like that adds up very quickly and in later waves when they're giving you know 100 150 per that adds up even more i'm still not happy but i'm going to take the freezing robot and we're going to keep going and the reason being is i can use the freezing robot later for a block um on wave 11 there's a specific spot where i do want to block and hold people there so this is going to be our run this week. And at this point, I'm going to start putting down my actual groundwork. Oh, <laughs> this is a terrible run already, though. I'm going to go 40% EMP because, well, it does add up the EMP damage. Um... I would have preferred almost anything else, but I mean, we're here, we'll take it. Okay, and now from here on out, the name of the game is get as much damage up front as humanly possible. Oof, this is going to be a very big test of a brand new setup. Two, three, one, two, three. That'll help with the exploders. Three, two, three, two, three. Okay. Terrible run. At this point, I'm just trying to get all my towers in their rightful places. Atom bomb. these up here for because again damage high means less things get low <sighs> I mean I guess weather controller it, it's the worst of all of them but I mean it's not bad but it's better with higher percentage of resources um, okay rockets need to get up to level 4 And then we need to get sides for. Okay. Atom bomb. At least we have a lot of consumables this time around, so 
we should be able to do at least some damage from that perspective. The only issue that we're going to run into is that we are going to become very, very resource starved very soon. And you can already see things starting to like bleed through a little bit more than they should be compared to previous runs, but... And now we will start leveling this metal. I think we should still be safe for a little bit longer. There we go. And then we'll pick these turrets up down here. So wave 10, if this tests me a lot, then we're going to know that we're going to have troubles for wave 11. Um, normally wave 10 isn't that big of a deal for me. Um, but we have gotten just absolute crap <laughs> for upgrades this time around. I'm going to... Oh, temperature maybe? Let's do towers. Let's do all towers. I need the extra percentage. If I'm going to be resource starved, then I need percentage. Okay. I'm going to get these rockets up to fives. Because things are going to come at us hard and fast. I'm not as worried about the yellows as I'm worried about the greens at this moment. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start leveling all of these middle upper sections to fives because we're going to need them for the bosses. I think I'm going to get overran. It is holding, but only just. Let's upgrade that to four. Break. Pop. Okay. So we're doing decent on damage, we're just not getting wave clear. We're getting a lot of the greens bleeding through. Uh, this boss should go down before it gets all the way over there because it's got enough lasers on it. I might level this one up to four just to make sure. But I would want sixes by now, and I don't have any. So I've had to use up something that I don't want to this early. Uh, I'm going to go 30% to all. Again, if I'm resource starved, we're getting percentage. So, in this wave, there's three sets of the big crushers, these guys back here. This first set needs to die without me spending anything for it, typically. I cannot use my atom bombs if I'm going to get through this, so I have to kill them with what I have available. So we are going to hold them here. And then we're going to hold all of it. We're just waiting for a few more to latch on and here. And so this should give me a few seconds of calm before the storm. Okay. Second set of crushers is coming out. And the big bosses are back there. And that atom bomb is meant for them. So the first atom bomb in wave 11 should be used on the two dinos plus the two crushers that come out second. The reason being is you're going to need another set for the dogs that come out after this wave. 
So once you kill these guys, the next wave is a ton of those green dogs, and they just keep coming for the rest of the map. And this is why you need level 6 lasers by this point, by the way. Because otherwise you won't have enough damage. Okay. This is way too early to be burning this, but I don't have a choice. Alright. And then let's do these two to six. Uh, the machine guns target lock on anything that is close to the map completion zone. Um, so that's why I like to put those two machine guns right there. Uh, because, again, it's whatever's the closest. It's, it doesn't matter about anything. Lasers skip over the greens to hit anything yellow. So they're very good at basically taking out these high hit point targets while they get stuck on the green monsters. Because if you notice, like these guys over here, they're stuck walking on these zombies very slowly. And the lasers are able to deal damage while that's going on. This isn't a terrible run, but I'm going to quickly get over Ran by the dogs, as you can see. So I'm going to try this wave again. I want to see if we can get even more out of it. Uh, what am I going to do? Let's try... Let's try leveling up way up here. Um, so the walking speed, the percentage, your, your acceleration actually can affect the way these guys get stuck onto these creatures. So like these guys are breaking through very quickly. And that's not a good thing, right? Like the faster those crushers are getting through, the worse this is. And so sometimes if you restart a wave, try a different percentage if it's not working consistently. Like here we are, we are, you know, well into this particular wave, maybe 30, 40 seconds. But if I restart the wave and go to a times two, let's see what happens. So the crushers come out. The one on the right side seems to be moving very quickly. Now the one on the left is winning, and that didn't work. So we're going to go ahead and try again. And I know it seems redundant, but I mean, it's one of those things that really just adds up. I'm going to try times four, see if that does the trick. This doesn't seem to be doing the trick. He broke out. But I am going to hold them here. We're going to try this trick again. picked up you I think I might just hit point this guy because I don't think I'm bringing him down nope okay let's try it today okay so actually let's wait hold there Okay, now I'm going to pause it, because we have a lot of damage coming into a lot of different things, but what I need it to come into is all of this yellow down here. And these auto turrets are going to just start picking up. There's a bit of free damage. 
really don't want to burn this if I can avoid it. There we go. Pause it here, move it forward, pause it here, move it forward. Okay, so these crushers seem to be moving a little bit slower, which is good. to detonate here. Okay, and then we'll let those pick up as much targets as they can as they're going in. Mm. Restart the wave. So close. <sighs> I think we can do better still though. 41,000. Okay. I hate those dogs. There. And that should hold them for a minute. Let's see, this one over here is going to be, I think, the side that's going to need the most help soon. U to three. There. Still a lot coming. That night. Let's see. Let's do a five here. Let's do a four here. And then let's do five there and a five here. Okay. That should be enough to bring down Mr. T-Rex there. as much cannon or missile turret as I can. Here's all those dogs. There. Okay. And we've got 40... 1,000, come on, come on, a little bit more, a little bit more. It's okay if they get through, I don't care right now. We'll hit point it. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, and that's a clear of wave 11. Oh, okay. <laughs> Nothing for wave 12. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna die very quickly in wave 12. So for anyone who hasn't seen it, this is wave 12. It sucks. Um, I haven't got any good strategies for it yet just because I recently started getting to it consistently. Um, but it just starts off dogs and then it's more dogs and then it's more dogs and then it's more dogs. Um, and I mean, obviously like crushers are right out the bat and T-Rexes, like you get all of the, the bad at once. And then it just doesn't stop coming. Um, I definitely don't have enough hit points. So what we're going to do is we're going to pause. And we are going to focus on as much damage down low as humanly possible. thinking these are just going to have to go even though this is going to guarantee my death it's fine i'm already dead um gosh there's nothing i'm going to be able to do and those crushes are going to be the last of my hit points so let's do a level six here and a level six there and i need a little bit more so that i can get another level six do that one. And this is all of the points that I think I'm going to be able to get this turn. Yep, and that's the end. GG. And that's me getting number one now. So it kind of works. Uh, again, there's some benefits to those towers in that the top two spots for the new EMP placement. I think the only thing I might do to increase that is I need to figure out a way to deal with the dogs better. And I don't know if that's more machine guns or more rockets. Um, but I'm going to play around with it and I will keep you guys posted. Uh, have a good one. Thank you guys for watching.